Hurricane Maria, for me, besides the destruction that it created, it was like an opportunity to get close again with people. When a catastrophe happens, and that you do not have these uh, modern inventions, you, you have to, again, start with the essentials. And you tend to get closer to the other. So I think that's beautiful. And that's inspired me a lot. My intention of selecting this uh, material, it was because it was related with the catastrophe first. Then I saw the relationship between Puerto Rico and the States, and I found it very interesting. I found that that material is a very political charge. The figure is like a big mother paying attention, you know, guarding, but she's also ready to defend. In my work, I use materials like coconuts, or I would say materials related with the pantry. But I also use objects that are given to me. The greater, greater, which is the central tool, was given to me by my neighbor. She was 92 years old. Emma was her name. And she uh, came to my studio with the tool and told me, I'm going to give you this because I am already retiring. <laughs> And then Emma, how old is that tool? And she told me it was given to me by my grandmother, so you could imagine how old that tool is. Emissary figures bring knowledge to the community. Here is this tool for you to use, right? Even though it's there like a relic, but that crystal box is open. So it means that if somebody has the need to use it, you just figure out how to get it, but you could get it. So it was like a tribute, tribute to the tool, but through the tool, a tribute to those activities to do with our community. I have no limitation. I like to be free in order to create the image that I want. The way that an observer could get into my work, my ensemble, is maybe recognizing the materials too. You know, oh, I saw that in this shop. And then they start like, but what is, doing there, the context is different, you know what I mean? So I love that. I love that the materials that I use are easy to recognize. That's the reason why many times I leave them like that, because I know that people will recognize that and will start wondering and will start also imagining, remembering and creating meaning. My experience as a human being is Puerto Rico and my community, so I talk from there. But through uh, the ensemble, I want to share that with others. And art is a very important and strong instrument to do that. That's why I choose this <laughs> profession, you know. It's a way of sharing. And then there we could see each other like humans, you know.